Hi everybody, my name is Roland van Rene. I'm also known as the forest farmer. Hello, I'm Esther, also known as DJ Essie, the urban farmer. Syntropic agroforestry offers proven solutions against climate change. Global warming, loss of diversity, loss of healthy soils, droughts and floodings, and food security, deforestation, desertification and conflicts. That are the results of mentioned challenges. Note that both cactus and acacia have thorns. This means two things. That nature value their work in the succession and wants to secure their survival. I'm not able to press the knife, you see? But here it's go like up, you see? Up to so far in the soil. In the previous lesson, Essie explained the five principles of Syntropic Agroforestry. In this lesson, we will research the importance of the first principle, which is that the soil should be covered always. Syntropic Agroforestry farmers will love to start a farm on a so-called old forest, instead of the desert most farms start with. Here on Rosinga Island in Kenya, we formed the human chains to bring in the wood logs. As you can see here in Rosinga Island and in Rongo, both in Kenya, we chop the banana trunk in two halves. Hey, welcome back to the third video. In this video we're going to take a deep dive into the science of planting wild through the maximization of photosynthesis. And also, you'll learn how to create your own syntropic agroforestry design. Bananas, which are very needed for their biomass production and potassium delivery, so I space them every 3 meters. This can be done manually with horse or if available with a plow but in most cases it will be like how this lady so nicely demonstrates observe her body moves and how she let the hoe in combination with the gravity do the work so it is best to prepare yourself before the actual farm implementation with a checklist which contains a measure tool rope, a hammer, pegs, and eventually sand. Here, I explain our quite controversial and unique way of planting bananas. 